Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me on another video and today's going to be a good video because it's a continuation of two videos that I've made in the past and it kind of builds upon them. So the two videos I'm talking about is uh, me replacing the battery on an iPhone 6 that I had and uh, uh, the other one was Apple purposefully slowing down their older devices because of battery issues. And it was, and this is kind of an ongoing thing right now. People are still angry. And Apple has admitted openly that they were slowing down older devices with degraded batteries to uh, safeguard the internals, such as the CPU, from random uh, power shortages that the battery could not handle. And uh, what the point of the matter is that that's actually a good step. However, Apple was very abrupt. They didn't tell anybody this was happening and people took it in the wrong way in the sense that they thought that Apple was forcing you to buy the newer iPhones and you couldn't stick with these phones. So Apple has tried to make it right. They've started offering these $29 battery replacements and uh, they're just trying to make everything okay. So what I thought was it would be an interesting video to see if my iPhone 6 Plus, uh, this phone has been uh, around for about three years in my family. Uh, it's been swapped a few times between some family members, but it's basically been in constant use. So three years on the original battery, you pretty much know what the battery is probably like at that point. Uh, it was completely degraded and it probably held three to four hours of charge if you were lucky. And uh, it, the phone was significantly slower than before. It was dropping frames. You couldn't load anything. Just typing was a pain because you'd have to wait a couple of seconds after you inputted every uh, little key and then you just have to wait and it became very annoying to use it uh, and then the reports dropped that the degrading batteries are actually affecting performance and then I put two and two together and I knew exactly what was happening so I decided it was time I quickly uh, get the battery swapped and uh, you know maybe I'll get some life back into this phone. Now while Apple did claim that a new battery would uh, improve performance I was kind of curious to what extent would it cure it? Would it be a lot better? Would it be slightly better or could you notice it or not, to be uh, frank, you know, because uh, in previous versions of iOS, you know, as phones grow older, obviously the newer versions of iOS are a little bit more heavier to run, and I just kind of thought that was the way it was. However, it seems that that may not be the case for some devices like the iPhone 6 and the 6S. So what I'm going to be doing is running uh, Antutu Benchmark and Geekbench, uh, and I'll also export a video on iMovie on this iPhone, a two-minute clip. And uh, what I'll do is I'll do a before and after. So I'll quickly do uh, those tests right now before I change the battery. Uh, I'll do a time lapse of me changing the battery and then I'll run the test again and we'll see how much of a difference all this brings in. So let's get right into doing those benchmarks. All right, everybody, so let's look at the specs and the performance before replacing the battery. So right now uh, I ran a Geekbench and an Intuitive Benchmark and uh, here are the results from both. So on the Geekbench we got 1048 for the single core and 1771 for multi-core. Now the interesting thing about uh, Geekbench is that they give you the comparison to other devices. So uh, this device, the iPhone, my iPhone scored 1048 and the iPhone 5S, when brand new, scored 1,203. That means that the a stock new iPhone 5S is faster than my device is currently performing. And the iPhone 5 is about 728, as you can see. So that means that my phone is currently performing somewhere between the iPhone 5 and 5S, which is not good. Um, and single core also same story. It's right in the middle. It's not in the exact middle, but it's between the 5 and 5S in terms of performance. And that's pretty bad. And now looking at Antutu, we have a score of 58,956 with a breakdown being this. So now the uh, idea is that I will go ahead and uh, do one more benchmarking test for you guys, which is a little bit more unconventional. So I have a clip in iMovie that's about uh, two minutes and 30 seconds long, I believe. So what I'm going to be doing now is I will export this and save it to my gallery. So let's see how long it takes to export this file. So I'm going to start the timer in three, two, one, go. All right, so the export just finished. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is I'll be comparing this time and I'll be doing the same thing again once I replace the battery to see if uh, app processing like uh, exporting actually does get affected by this process. So let me now move on and replace the battery and 
Uh, I won't be showing you guys the process this time because I already made another video where I showed you the exact same thing on an iPhone 6. So I'll have the link right here somewhere so you guys can watch that. And now let's just uh, time lapse into me uh, replacing the battery and then we'll go back ahead and see what the benchmarks look like. Alright everybody, so now that the replacement is done, let's look at the benchmarks now. So I ran all the benchmarks again, and Antutu is at 78,648, so that's a jump of about 20,000 in score. That's a pretty big jump, and uh, one of the biggest areas of improvement is the CPU. So as of now, the CPU score is 25,958. Before the battery swap, it was at 16,000. 738 so pretty big jump there and uh there are minute jumps in all the other categories as well as you can see uh and i'll have a link down below with the screenshots of all these so you guys can see uh the comparison between the actual things now the bigger shock for me was the uh, uh cpu benchmarks which were really good on the uh geekbench so geekbench score was 1552 on single core 2676 on multi-core now comparing this to the original, we have a gain of about 500 on the single score and about nearly close to a thousand on multi core. So it really does make the device feel a lot better, uh, especially just using it. The UI is so much more smoother. There's no frame drops and lag as there was. Uh, and here's just a quick comparison. Previously, uh, you remember me telling you that the iPhone, my iPhone, was performing somewhere between a 5S and a 5. Now, if you look at it. Uh, on single core, the iPhone is performing better than uh, what uh, the Geekbench uh, benchmarked iPhone 6 Plus did. So the benchmark 6 Plus was at 1471. Uh, my device got 1552. So that means that uh, the battery has definitely brought back some life into this particular phone. Same story with the multi-core. We got 2676, which is higher than the Geekbench tested score and benchmarked right here. So for the final part of this test, let's do the same uh, clip export on iMovie that we did previously. So I'm going to add the two clips that I previously added. So these two, and we'll combine them to create a movie that's about two minutes and 20 seconds long. So what I'm going to do is hit done and we will export this and I'll start the timer exactly when I start the export. So I'm gonna start in three, two, one, now. Done, so that's that. So that wraps up those benchmark guys, very interesting results. So uh, as you saw, the initial uh, uh, clip export took about a minute and six seconds. And after the battery swap, it only took 49 seconds. So that's almost a 25% uh, increase in speed. And that's awesome because the phone is now finally feeling like it's running how it should be. Uh, not to mention the Geekbench scores and the Antutu benchmark score, they completely changed such a drastic jump up and uh, the phone finally performs as it should. In fact, uh, the scores I got on Geekbench uh, are higher than the Geekbench benchmarks for this model. So I'm very impressed with that and I'm very surprised at the results and uh, just the noticeable change in UI. It's so much more smoother now. Uh, beforehand, I couldn't s easily swipe through these pages without having a frame drop or having the frame, the phone kind of just freeze up in between the pages. And I'm very happy that uh, now the phone works as it's supposed to, as it came out of the box. So I definitely think it's a great way to bring life back into your devices, especially if you have an older device like an iPhone 6 6S. And I've definitely been able to clearly see the results on my phone. Uh, I've had a few people message me that said they haven't seen the same results. So I'm thinking maybe they didn't have batteries that were just bad their phones were just couldn't handle the load that they were throwing at them so i'm not sure what's going on here but for me i definitely noticed a very big 
difference and a very big upgrade in speed. So that's a wrap for this video guys. Let me know what you think about this battery situation and if you have gotten your battery swapped from Apple or if you've done it yourself, let me know down in the comments below what your experience was like and if you think that the phone is actually faster. So I'm very interested to see what you guys think about this. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this and be sure to check out my other videos if you enjoyed this video. Also you can follow me on social media, I have all the links down below. I update all the behind the scenes stuff of filming and the tests that I'm doing throughout these uh, testing periods. So definitely be sure to check me out there. Thank you guys for watching, I'll catch you in the next one.